wake up the whole world. Friends, the Jesuit order, they also infiltrate every religion, especially Sunday churches. That's why Revelation chapter 17 called this power, horror, notice. The mother of Harlot. Jesus Christ is the one who died for the whole world and he's drawn everybody to himself. But this power, they don't want you to go to Jesus Christ. They want you to go to them and confess your sin to them. So notice what Revelation chapter 18 says. And they also infiltrate the king's president. So notice. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her fornications. And notice, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Friends, now I'm going to tell you their mark. Notice this power, the mark of the beast. Because notice if the Bible says the mark of the beast means this power has a mark the beast is a language that god is using for this power and they themselves they says in their own book the book of catechism the old version notice they says sunday worship is the mark of authority the new version they don't use the word authority but at least Thank God, they still admit it, even the new version of Catechism. They still says they changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Friends, the mark of the beast is not worldly speculations that sometimes you hear. Some people says, well, it's computer chip, but unfortunately you don't find in the Bible. And some people says, you know, it's 666. But according to Revelation 13 verse 18, actually 666 help you to find the beast. What I mean is to identify the beast. But the Bible says the mark. The reason why I repeat and I kind of stretch it because I don't want you to miss it. It's a deception. Notice the mark of the beast it's clear it means the power the beast has a monster to change the sabbath from saturday to sunday but unfortunately sunday churches they adopt sun worship day for so many years they don't want to get rid of it but actually it's a pagan sun worship day sunday worship look even the spellings you'll find out matter of fact if you look at your calendar Sunday is always begin as the first day of the week. Unfortunately, they will skip and some people, they don't know, they will count Monday as the first day of the week. Because according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 9, the devil will deceive the whole world. So it's a deception. So a lot of people, the devil, you know, he's in the process blinding the people, including the Christian though. Friends, if you go to church Sunday, notice the first day church now, you don't have the mark of the beast according to Revelation 14 and 13 unless the law is an enforce. That's why now you hear different country, they try to force in the people to not sell or do anything on Sunday because they try to enforce the law. But according to Bible, notice, United States is the one who's going to cause the whole world to worship. The beast, they are sun worship day, means Sunday worship, according to Revelation 13. So whenever United States enforce the law, then every country also going to enforce because they control the whole world. Every president on the Roman Catholic Church. Friends, Saturday is always the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. Notice, and again, it's always Saturday. And that's why the Bible says the seventh day is the Sabbath. Jewish nation, even though I'm not Jewish, they still keep the Sabbath, Saturday. And also, Encyclopedia. You will find it even different language. If you speak Spanish, Sabado means Saturday. You can also find in the Bible, according to Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 to 3, you're going to find out that God created heaven and the earth six days, and the seventh day he rested. And that seventh day, it's Saturday. And then Jesus Christ, remember, 
When Adam and Eve they sinned, Jesus Christ came to redeem our soul and he finished his work six days, Friday afternoon. Remember, that's why they call it Easter Friday or Good Friday. It says it is finished Friday and then he rested Saturday, just like he rested Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. And Sunday, the early day in the morning, you will find in the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 3. You will also find in Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 56. The seventh day is always Saturday until Constantine 321. He changed it from Saturday to his own pagan son, creation, worship day. The devil behind the scene. You are about to see the power. God is going to fill up with his outpouring. Just like he did it for the first century. The apostle church. And then we're going to go forward and preach the loud cry. The third angel's message. We're going to protest against their pagan son worship day. Means their son day worship. And then Jesus Christ will come. Just like Bible says. If the day is not short. No flesh will be saved. But for the elect sake means those who take a stand the day will be shortened friends this is a beautiful time in history because we only one step away from heaven the mark of the beast the worship issue in revelation chapter 13 if you get time read it because revelation chapter 13 verse 12 it's a worship issue and verse 15 it's a worship issue and verse 8 is a worship issue and the bible help us to understand that behind the scene revelation 13 is the devil he wants the whole world to worship him friends you have to escape you have to study your bible christ is calling you whether you are christian or not whenever you hear sunday worship in any countries do not accept it god is going to protect you bible says our bread and water will be sure when a catholic jesuit learns sunday churches their doctrine and the vatican second when they infiltrate their churches and they draw all their churches to so-called the mother of the church because they know their doctrine and they can answer questions and preach so the members of the Sunday churches they think that all the pastors are faithful pastors so now it's all about my pastor says my pastor says my pastor says, and this is the crying that a lot of times you hear from them instead of them to study to show thyself approved just like bible says they're making the flesh they are right arm, and some of them when they learn the sabbath truth that is always saturday because they are pastors it's been hematized them for so many years so when they go and they talk to their pastors Instead of them to talk to God and make decision based on that says the Lord, they make their pastors make decision for them because that's how bad they hematize them. No one needs say that his case is hopeless, that he can't live the life of a Christian. Ample provision is made by the death of Christ for every soul. Jesus is our ever-present help in time of need. Only call upon him in faith, and he has promised to hear and answer your petitions. Oh, for living active faith, we need it, we must have it, or we shall fade and fail in the day of trial. It is now that we must keep ourselves and our children unspotted from the world. It is now that we must wash our robes of character and make them white in the blood of the Lamb. It is now that we must overcome pride, passion, and spiritual slothfulness. It is now that we must awake and make determined effort for symmetry of character. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. We are in a most trying position, waiting, watching for our Lord's appearing. The world is in darkness. But ye brethren, says Paul, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you. What are you doing, brethren, in the great work of preparation? Those who are uniting with the world are receiving the worldly mold and preparing for the mark of the beast. Those who are distrustful of self, who are humbling themselves before God and purifying their souls by obeying the truth, these are receiving the heavenly mold and preparing for the seal of God in their foreheads. Now is the time to prepare. The seal of God will never be placed upon the forehead of an impure man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of the ambitious worldly man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of men or women of false tongues or deceitful hearts. All 
all who receive the seal must be without spot before God, candidates for heaven. Search the scriptures for yourselves, that you may understand the fearful solemnity of the present hour. Friends, don't let the devil use hypnosis preachers, what as the pastor or whoever they are, to tell you that you're not going to be holy. You're going to sin until Jesus Christ come. That's doctrines of the devils. When God says, be you holy, because I'm a holy. When Jesus Christ sets you free, Bible says, ye shall be free indeed. Order the great controversy. Notice the book, the great controversy, because it's preparation. It will prepare you by the grace of God. Whenever they enforce their son worship day, their son day worship. Whenever the law is in force in your country, do not accept it. Symbolic in Revelation, your forehead means your decision. And also when Revelation says their right hand means your action will follow your decision. 